Hello friends, this video straight line part 16 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Before watching this video, please make sure that you have watched straight line part 1 to part 15. Distance between two parallel lines. There are two parallel lines y is equal to mx plus c1 and y is equal to mx plus c2. We have to find distance between two parallel lines. One approach is we draw a line from here that is perpendicular straight line. Now if you see this line, it's not straight, so you want to find distance, this is D. Let's suppose this is D, this is D1 and this distance is D2. We have to find D1 actually. So we have to find D1, I write here, we have to find D1 is equal to what? D1. This we have to find. So if we can find D1 plus D2, we know we can find D1 plus D2, this distance. The distance of line y is equal to mx plus c2 from origin and we can also find distance of this line y is equal to mx plus c1 from origin and we can subtract this because this will be d1 plus d2 and this will be d2. This if you get a difference we will get d1. This will be the difference or distance between two parallel lines. Let's do this. We have two equations. For example, first we will take first equation y is equal to mx plus c2 or we can write this equation as mx minus y plus c2 is equal to c2. So here a is equal to m, b is equal to minus 1 and c is equal to c2. This is the equation 1. For line equation 2 y is equal to mx plus c1 we will follow the same, same funda. So we will get a is equal to m, b is equal to minus 1 and c is equal to c. Both are same equations so I am not repeating the state. If you do the same thing, you will get the same thing. a is equal to m, b is equal to minus 1, c is equal to c1. Now the distance of line c1, y is equal to mx plus c1 that is d, this is let's suppose d2. d2 is nothing but distance of line c1 from origin. So this becomes here, origin is 0, 0. So we'll say x1, y1 are 0, 0 in both the case. So d2 is nothing but a x1 plus b y1 plus c by root of a square plus b square mod. So this becomes 0 plus 0 because x1, y1 is 0 plus c is c1 c1 by root of 1 plus m square because minus 1 minus 1 square is 1. So this becomes c1 by root of 1 plus m square. This is nothing but d2. Distance of line y is equal to mx plus c2. Now d1 plus d2 is nothing but distance of line y is equal to mx plus c2 from center. So this becomes mod of ax1 plus b y1 plus c by root of a square plus b square. Now in this case also c x1 y1 is 0 plus c here c is nothing but c2 because we are talking about this line. In this line c is equal to c2 by root of minus 1 square plus m square. So this becomes c2 by root of 1 plus m square. Now if, if I want to find distance d1 that is a dis distance between these two lines this is nothing but d1 plus d2 minus d2. So this becomes c2 by root 1 plus n square minus c1 by root of 1 plus n square. So this becomes c1 minus c2 by root of 1 plus Square. And that is our answer. Very simple. What we have done? Both the lines we had, we converted into ax plus by plus c form. We got the value of a, b, and c. x1, y1 is 0 in both the case because we are taking the origin as the uh, point of reference. We found d2. d2 came out to be c1 by root 1 plus m square. And then we found d1 plus d2, the whole length that came out to be c2 by root 1 plus m square. We subtracted and we got the distance between two parallel lines as 
c1 minus c2 by root of 1 plus m square. In this example, we have to find the distance between two parallel lines 3x minus 4y plus 7 is equal to 0 and 3x minus 4y plus 5 is equal to 0. Now we can convert this line into y is equal to mx form because we know that if there are two lines y is equal to mx plus c1 and y is equal to mx plus c2 then the distance is equal to c1 minus c2 by root of 1 plus m square. This formula we know. So we can convert these both the equation in this form. So first equation is 3x minus 4y plus 7 is equal to 0 or we can say 4y is equal to 3x plus 11 or we can say y is equal to 3 by 4x plus 7 by 4. So that means we have converted this into y is equal to mx plus c1 form. So here m is equal to 3 by 4 and c1 is equal to c is equal to 7 by 4. The second equation 3x minus 4y plus 5 is equal to 0. We can write this equation as 4y is equal to 3x plus 5 or we can say y is equal to 3 by 4x plus 5 by 4. Here also m is equal to 3 by 4 and c2 is equal to 5 by 4. Correct. So now we have m, we have c1, we have c2. So we can just use this formula d is equal to c1 minus c2 by root of 1 plus m square. So this becomes c1 minus c2 is 7 by 4 minus 5 by 4 divided by root of 1 plus 3 by 4 square. This comes out to be 7 by 4 minus 5 by 4 is 2 by 4 divided by root of 1 plus 9 by 16. So this becomes 2 by 4 by root of 25 by 16. So this becomes 2 by 4 by 5 by 4. So this becomes 2 by 5 and that is our answer. Very simple what we have done. We have two equations. We converted both equations into y is equal to mx plus c1 form. We found the value of m c1 c2 and then we use this formula d is equal to c1 minus c2 by root of 1 plus m square to get the answer. Thank you. Visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos, try free online tests, get the best quality study materials, study from the best tutors and mentors and much more. Thanks once again.